Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm genuinely perplexed by it because I, I think it, it leads to suspicion. You can finally sound off on how you think the BC government has responded to the COVID-19 pandemic. An online survey on the government's website is part of a review led by Emergency Management BC. But the review does not go over economic recovery and public policy decisions or the decisions made by Dr. Bonnie Henry. So this is quite strange in a way to have a review that is so limited and I think that does raise questions as to what are going to be the findings that come out of it. The objective is to improve the government's ability to respond to all kinds of future emergencies. The review will look at how the government identified the pandemic's consequences, if their decision making was timely and well informed, and how they communicated and executed their decisions. Canada Research Chair Heidi Torek studies how health policy is communicated to the public. It's certainly one of the major criticisms that has been made of the BC CDC and the BC government has been a lack of transparency. An independent review should be a time to, to try and address some of those questions to improve transparency and the types of exclusions that are put into this survey uh, may not really help to address that criticism. All right, this is how you get to the survey. You type in engage.gov.bc.ca in your web browser and you click on this. Click on take this survey in whatever language is best for you. Ian Tostenson with the BC Restaurant and Food Service Association says he has a lot of good things to say about how the government worked with the restaurant industry, but he still finds this survey lacking. Seems to me it needs to be a little bit deeper than what's been announced. I actually don't understand. I mean, I don't know how you can do this without an economic review, a policy review on impact of policies, um, how those policies were communicated. I mean, we have a lot of things to say. The questions are quite broad asking about whether how we felt about information, government services. It can sometimes be useful to add a little bit more granularity so that you get further information that could be very useful. Otherwise, it can be hard to interpret what people are putting in the text box. While the criteria for the project says independent groups will do more reviews in the future, Turek says this review is being done by people who have intimate knowledge of the government's workings. I think it just raises the question of whether it would also be useful to bring in um, those who are independent of and, and haven't worked for the BC government to really ensure that we have something that's a, a fully independent review. The survey closes on April 20th at 4 p.m. In Vancouver, Kirjunos, City News.